Hello everyone, this is Mikey, and this is a quick heart-shaped box tutorial using Tinkercad. Um, so to get started, let's go to Basic Shapes and add a heart, and just change the size to whatever you need it to be. So now let's actually just change the color too, to make it look more like a heart instead of the brown we have that looks just like a box. Um, and I'm going to make it a little smaller, just to make it easier to manipulate. Obviously, the dimensions can be whatever you want them to be. So the next step is to make a few copies. So one copy is going to be the cavity lip uh, version, and the other copy is going to be the lid. So let's move the lid to the side for right now and focus on the lip cavity copy. So I'm going to make this transparent to make it a little bit easier to see and make it taller. So this, this uh, dimension is going to be how tall you want the lip to be. So I just added five millimeters, but again, you want to make sure that it's whatever you want, but that it's not taller than the lid because or else it won't fit nicely. So here I align it, and everything looks good so far. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and I'm just going to eyeball it, but you can definitely measure it uh, to make sure that the width of the box is whatever you want it to be. Um, again, other CAD softwares have better tools for this, but for Tinkercad, I think that this is a good enough approach. So taking a look at this, it looks fine. So I'm going to make a copy of this, and this is actually going to be the cavity for the lid, which I'm going to put right by the lid. And the copy that I have here, I'm going to make solid again because it's going to be the lip. So now I make another copy of this smaller heart, and this is actually going to be a cavity for the body of the box. So I make it a little bit smaller than the version we already have, um, and raise it, obviously because we don't want to have a hole, a hole through the heart, we just want it to be up until the floor. So again, now that I have these, I align them. And the lip's looking a little bit big, so let's try making the cavity a little bit larger um, to make the lip a little bit thinner. Again, obviously this is personal choice. I'm just eyeballing it here, but you can measure if you want to. Perfect, so now that I have all of these, I align them once more. And now I select everything and use the merge tool to make it all one solid piece. And you can see now we have the bottom of our box with the lip. So now we focus on the lid. Um, so for that, I grab the lid piece, make it a little bit smaller. I don't want the lid to be very top heavy, but um, again, personal choice, just make sure that the lip is not taller than the lid because or else it won't fit nicely. So now I align the cavity that we had before with the top. You can see that the cavity should be smaller because it was a copy of a smaller hole, not the larger heart. And then I raise this as well, obviously, again, because we don't want through hole, we want it to have a floor or a top, I guess, in this case, because it's the lid. And then I merge them. And that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward tutorial. Again, this can be used to make any box. Um, so any polygon shape, a heart, uh, or whatever, I guess, shape you want to make a box out of. And yep, so now here I am just uh, flipping it over 180 degrees to give you guys a better look of how it would all come together. So you raise it, and now you can see the hole in the top of the lip, or in the bottom of the lip, and now we can see the hole in the top. And that pretty much covers it. Thank you for watching.